the American justice system is not designed to get at the truth. Uh, and that's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a bad thing. It's just the, it's the adversarial process isn't designed to, to conduct an investigation. Like France has an inquisitory system where the judge can actually order witnesses in and can, and can propose questions to try to figure out what happened. The American uh, process is designed to hear two different narratives to, and, and to see who makes it the most convincing case. And the point of it is to apportion guilt and assign punishment. The point of it is not to get a comprehensive picture of what happened. That's the FBI's job. And the FBI hasn't done its job. But at the same time, I mean, if you look at what the defense did, I mean, we got a fairly simple narrative from them, which is he did it. And mm -hmm. their, um, their focus has been on and uh, not disputing his guilt, but on preventing him from being sentenced to death. Which is exactly their job, and I think they've, they've done it spectacularly. I mean, it's been, uh, it, it's been amazing to watch. It's also, it's also been amazing to watch the prosecution, which was even more of a surprise for me, uh, or actually that was a surprise. Uh, just the way that they selected witnesses, the way they staged the case, the way they always timed it, to go from sort of mundane in the morning and incredibly emotional uh, in the late afternoon to let the, to, to, to have the jury go home at the end of the week, uh, pondering the absolute worst of what happened at the marathon. Uh, I mean, it was it was just a, it was like watching an incredible theater production, and uh, and it was devastating. I mean, I think it was devastating for uh, not just for the people in the courtroom, but for the entire city of Boston, which is why you've heard victims coming out uh, against the death penalty and just asking to have this thing over with because right. it is so emotionally powerful. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, uh, why do I find it unsatisfying? Because there are questions that, that haven't been answered and that can't be answered in court. So one question is, where were the bombs made? And the FBI testified in court that they don't know where the bombs were made. They know that they weren't made in Tamerlan's apartment and they weren't made in Jahar's dorm room. So they were made somewhere else. They were made somewhere else, then who else was involved? Was this person unwittingly involved, whoever owns or you know, uh, mm -hmm. rents the space where they build the bombs, or was this a full accomplice? And we don't know unless the FBI tells us. And then the, the, the biggest question is, what was the relationship between the FBI and Tamar Lansarnaev, somebody whom they interviewed at least three times in 2011 as a terrorism uh, risk? Uh, you know, how come they w he was then able to build a bomb and set it off? Well, and, I mean, uh, Janet... How, Napolitano, who reviewed your book in the New York Times, said you were a conspiracy theorist for raising uh, questions about the role of the FBI, because from her point of view, the FBI pro does thousands of assessments of people every year, and the fact that they didn't immediately recognize him is indicative, from her point of view, of nothing. Uh well, I mean, Janet Napolitano seems a little conspiracy-minded about conspiracy theories because all I did was raise the question. Uh, but uh, um, but the, uh, here's what happened. Uh, the bombs went off on Monday afternoon. On Tuesday morning, FBI technical specialists had isolated the likenesses of the brothers from surveillance tapes. And then for three days, basically until after Tarnalan Sarnayev was killed, they couldn't identify the brothers. I'm uh, assuming that even though, I mean, I know that the Joint Terrorism Task Force in Boston isn't that large. The number of people who go out to interview real live terrorism suspects is finite. Three days is definitely enough time to show each one of those people the pictures uh, the, that they had isolated from the videotapes. Is it conceivable they didn't show them the pictures? Absolutely, but it's a sign of incompetence. And incompetence may well be the, you know, the biggest missing link uh, that the FBI is not disclosing. 